Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we will discuss on this MT103 legitimate sender. So, this particular topic, I have come up with this discussion only when I researched on this popular YouTube keywords which has been searched on my channel. So, probably a lot of users are looking what exactly MT103 legitimate sender means. So let's understand on that in terms of the tags and fields as well. So let's suppose uh, one of the customer wants to make a fund transfer from one country to another country. Let's say this is Shram. And he wants to make a fund transfer to another friend who lives in, let's suppose uh, his name is Sam and his name is, uh, I mean, this particular customer is in USA. He holds an account in, let's suppose, City US Bank. All right. Then if Ram wants to make a payment, then he uses any of the banking channel and then he initiates a transaction that says this particular customer is a, having account in State Bank of India. All right. And this is being sent over the cross-border payment network and the respective MT103 message has been released and the CDOs will act into it and they will make the payment to the same. Right. So in this particular MT103 message, what does this legitimate center mean, right? So here, the message would look like this. You'll have block one, you'll have block two, you'll have this block three, and then followed by your block four. You'll have set of tags over there, right? And here, this 50K will have this legitimate center. Which will nothing, which is nothing but your uh, Ram's customer's account number, name, and address. So, for example, Ram's account number is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ram Sarma, and let's say New Delhi sector five, which is zero one one zero one three, and India. So, this particular fifty k is your legitimate sender. Right. So this is what your legitimate sender means. And for this, you know, there will be definitely a sanction related check. And that's how a person who wants to make a fund transfer from one place to another place using any of the channel, they can use it and initiate a transaction. And that person is called as a legitimate sender until unless it has any uh, email related activities, which has been identified. So if you want to learn more on this, Right, and, and if you want to learn on more legitimate center related aspect and topics, right? So you just have to do is you have to enroll on our courses, which is monthly going on on every month. You can just drop us an email at Swift Payment Guru. I'll just note down this uh, email address here, Swift Payment Guru at rate of gmail.com. And you can inquire on the different courses which we offer. We have different courses to offer. One is uh, SAPER. Another one is ISO 2022. Another one is cross-border payment. Which includes your MT and MT payments. And then we have real-time payments as well. So these are the different payments related training which we are offering currently right now to our different students via our platform. You can enroll it for the both self paced wherein you'll get the entire record of videos or you can enroll it for the weekend online classes which tends to happen every month. So that's it for the day and I'll get back to you next time with a new topic. Stay tuned.